Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. The name of the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is Yahweh. Okay. Bahasham in the name of Yahweh Shai, the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, our mediator, our high priest, and through his blood. All right, that is our way back to the Father, all right, through whom the sins of the elect will be covered, all right, and no accusation or blame that comes against the elect will have any power, okay? So we're here via what? The Rachakwadash. The Holy Spirit in these latter days fulfilling prophecies that were written before we were even born of a great awakening of the true children of the Most High, the true Hebrew Israelites, the 12 tribes were prophesied to awaken in the latter days, okay, and the prophets will go out and preach, prophesy, and chant down Babylon a great via the testimony given, all right? From on high through the Holy Spirit and that's what we're here to do this is another episode of news and prophecy where we link the things happening worldwide to the Holy Scriptures to show the faithful remnant elect that the words of the Most High God Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai are faithful and true as we're in a time that the prophets should be prophesying as a matter of fact let's get the book of Revelation chapter 22 and 10 it says, and he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Okay, so the prophets should be prophesying. The prophets should be making things clear. The prophets shouldn't be offering any gray areas. The prophets shouldn't be starstruck by all of these particular uh, so-called celebrities of this world who have the name Israel in their mouth. The prophets should be strict and on point with the teaching of the words of the Holy uh, Scriptures telling our people to repent for the time of judgment is at hand, all right? And we go into the Scriptures and foretell the things that are to happen before they come to pass. So we're not supposed to seal the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And you have uh, particular Israelite camps who are more uh, infatuated with promoting themselves, speaking, you know, out of their own, you know, minds, or hearts than going into the Holy Scriptures and foretelling the things that are getting ready to happen on the planet Earth. As the Scriptures say, it's through the terror of the Lord we persuade men. And the time is at hand. So the Scriptures say, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And holy means what? Separate, separate from this this current evil world. That's why the scriptures say to flee Babylon. That, that's a spiritual fleeing. Separating yourselves from the expectation of the wicked. All right. And of this current world, which has nothing to do with the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The very world we see getting set up in front of us has everything to do with the spiritual demon Satan, all right, and overcoming the Most High and having control and dominion over his creation via technology, witchcraft, pseudoscience, and everything else. So, Yahweh Shai said, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Okay? So, this is the book of Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. All right, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, the God, Yahweh, okay, is omnipotent. All right, nothing happens outside of his control. All right, and that's through his only begotten son, who he gave authority to. All right, be the top angel in heaven, all right, and eventually on earth. 
declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure all right so the counsel of the lord is standing here in these latter days okay uh john 13 and 19 now i tell you before it come that when it has come to pass ye may believe that i am he okay and there are many things that were written to come and if you were watching the prophets who are uh, speaking this word in sincerity and truth, okay, you're going to constantly hear them speaking of the, the, the mark of the beast, of the NWO, the uh, Fourth Industrial Revolution, and everything our forefather John the Revelator saw being prepared and set up on the earth, all right, by the beast, okay? This is the book of First Peters 1 and 10. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you and this is that grace period and it's just about up searching what or what manner of the time the spirit of Hamashiach which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Yahweh Shai and the glory that should follow okay and now we're okay those prophets coming back searching for what manner of time as well all right and we know okay the times that we're in via the things that are happening on the planet earth okay so we're going to go into a few videos and articles all right that uh should point to uh where exactly we are in end time prophecy okay because that's what you as a believer all right, should be fixated on. All right, let's get the book of Ecclesiastes, the eighth chapter, in the fifth verse. Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. And a wise man's heart or mind, because the Hebrew word for heart is lab, it's really speaking of your mind. Your heart pumps blood, and yeah, your stomach and your heart, you know, are connected with the mind the stomach is is like likened into a uh second mind all right that's why it, when it talks about a man's belly uh, it's, it's speaking of his mind as well all right but ultimately uh the the heavenly father deals with men or mankind in their mind so a wise man's mind discerneth both time and judgment meaning you're able to get through all of the, the the madness that's happening and that's being shoved down your throat and you're supposed to understand all right the time all right and the judgment that's getting ready to take place on the planet earth all right it says because to every purpose there is a time and judgment all right therefore the misery of man is great upon him and the the, the elite the powers that be okay are at the time of their judgment and the elect are going to be able to discern that by the things that are happening on the planet Earth. Because, again, before they came forth, okay, before they came forth, so this Isaiah 42 and 9, Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Okay, and we can clearly go into the Bible, okay, and show you everything that's happening now being foretold and spoken and written down as a vision by our forefathers man so let's check this out this is glenn beck as you can see the title of this looks like the motb <laughs> glenn beck let's check this out they started their cbdc central bank digital currency uh, by the way, um, India just rolled out its retail uh, mm -hmm. pilot program for digital rupees as well. Don't worry. I think maybe we should start having the conversation because this is coming. Maybe we should start having the conversation of, gosh, this looks like the mark of the beast. <laughs> Look at how many uh, views on this video. 777, which is completion. 
All right, but he said India um, has the CBDC system. Nigeria, Jamaica is getting it. The UK. See if we can get a few uh, other banks. Or uh, there we go. Boom. The UK is about to introduce a digital pound, central bank currency. Okay. So there you go. This is happening. It's no longer a uh, conspiracy theory, okay? You have uh, Executive Order 14067, all right? Uh, the 46th president, <laughs> Joe Biden, okay? Uh, ensuring responsible development of digital assets. And remember, this was the one, all right, in around 2002, who told a particular uh, judge that he will vote on whether or not we will use, all right, uh, uh, charagmas, all right, or chips, all right, for medical purposes, all right? And that was fulfilled through the uh, Obama administration in the whole Obamacare Act, all right? When you read in that, what's in that, all right, is a device that can be implemented. So they've been passing the decrees necessary and the legislation necessary, all right, to enforce what John the Revelator saw, as we'll show you in Revelation, the 13th chapter. Okay, now we're living in a time, all right, where the beast, of course, the whore rides the beast, as we see the UK has uh, uh, got the whole digital thing going we're, we're getting ready to see a new world okay and you could look this up and read on these things on your own if you find something uh worthwhile in your research you can post it on the comment board which youtube pretty much takes down particular comments where information is but you can try it but there you go okay uh we're clearly in that time okay um, and we're going to get into a few, uh, videos, all right, speaking on this, all right, and this is very important because Israelites who have awakened to the fact that the Israelites, all right, are getting ready to be faced with the very bitter, uh, aspect of this walk of ours, all right, because finding out that you're an Israelite does have, a you know, a, a honey sweetness to it, all right? But there's also a very bitter aspect to this walk and a, and a, and a great sacrifice that we're going to have to undergo, all right, on a level that's going to require super faith because as we're supposed to be holy, we're going to have to separate from this world and, and fully trust on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And a lot of Israelites don't want to think on that level. They don't want to, all right, uh, be presented with that mindset because it requires them, all right, to go through something. And a lot of you Israelites don't want to go through anything. Well, we're, 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 you've been warned. And you have particular Israelites, all right, with big names, you know, who are going and doing these interviews, all right, interviewing uh, particular c celebrities and doing interviews just doing world tour interviews and they're not speaking on this aspect of the game which is all cute you all right and it's a beautiful thing the name of israel is being pushed at the level is being pushed okay but the truth of the matter is that the powers that be are getting ready to come with some very 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 serious evil all right and we already know about the uh, climate lockdowns and everything else that are being planned. All of this agenda goes hand in hand. I mean, damn it. But surely it's not. Surely it's not. Of course not. And not from the U.S. government. No, no, no. They never do anything underhanded or evil. Never. Never. Especially when Democrats are in control. Amen. FTX blew up in spectacular fashion. It looks like fraud. 
But in the wake of that, rather than thinking through, like, why did regulators let this happen? There's a new effort underway to regulate every single financial transaction that occurs in this country through something called the Central Bank Digital Currency, CBDC. If that happens, we're done. They can control you with the flick of a switch. So you should know. When Amarova was nominated for control of the currency, she had just published an article in the Vanderbilt Law Review saying inflation is a problem. No problem with CBDC. You just freeze everybody's bank accounts. They can't get any money. Amazing. Yeah. You have this balance of power between the people and the bankers. And now what is happening under the... The bankers have decided they no longer want to share power with the electorate or the people's representatives. And whether through FASB 56 or levering the governments up so they're deeply in debt and dependent on the central banks, the central banks have decided essentially to take over. And the ultimate sort of completion of this will be when they introduce digital currencies controlled and operated by the central bank. Why is that important? Because they won't be currencies now they will be a financial control system. To implement that system, they need the vaccine passports. And the goal of the vaccine passports have nothing to do with health. All right, you heard that. Now, let's go to the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, before we move on. Okay, uh, John the Revelator sees the beast from the earth. All right, he sees the revival of Rome. Okay, the deadly wound being healed starting at the renaissance period all the way up to the inception of babylon the great which eventually then you get uh the nato and the eu which completes all right the revival of rome okay this is what john the revelator saw he saw this system okay and i beheld john saw revelation 13 and 11 i beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb that's the democratic and republic system all right and historically democracies have led to the worst tyrannies which we're currently under a democracy which is full of confusion okay this particular biden administration has helped fulfill prophecy of a sodom and egypt like rulership that the heavenly father will re uh, send his only begotten son back to take down Okay, you should be looking at all of the things happening, linking it to the Bible. The Lord said before the, 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 the coming of the Son of Man, okay, the world will be under the vibration it was at the time of Lot. Okay, at the time of Noah. Disrespectful, evil, wicked, lewd, okay, alphabet behavior, wickedness would increase above that it had ever increased. All right, so the things that are happening in the planet Earth are, are showing you that's where we are. All right, check this out. Biden's energy official, okay, uh, uh, charged with theft. All right, look at him. Look at the man. Okay, this is a, the, the, this is a guy on Biden's, and this is one of many of this type of behavior that goes on amongst the Biden administration which fulfills the prophecy that we're in a spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Okay? So the Lord is is doing he, he's uh he's doing a lot here in these times, man. Okay? But John the Revelator okay, saw him come with the two horns like a lamb using the democratic and republican system to lure people into a false sense of freedom and people are falling into the trap. And he spake as a dragon. He spake as a dragon as draconian measures. Okay? Harsh like rulership. Harsh rules are coming. Martial law. All right? Where the military is going to have a, a dominion over everyday affairs. Okay? And these are the things that are getting ready to take place on our earth because they have to implement their plan. Okay? Which is why when you look around the planet Earth, okay, stuff like this is happening. The Netherlands intends to forcibly close 3,000 farms to reduce emissions, this carbon emission thing, okay? 
the global uh, 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 W-A-R-M-I-N-G agenda, which is complete <laughs> nonsense. All right, but this is where we are. They're forcibly closing farms. They're, they're, the things are getting ready to change. All right. Your access to traveling, your access to 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 uh, meat and products that you're used to having as 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 much as possible, that's going to change in compliance with the new rules to save the earth. And while they've been pretty much forcing all of this, you know, uh, <laughs> weirdoism and, and these stupid agendas down your throat, which they're putting these agendas out there to take away free speech. All of the stuff you see happening with Kanye, you know, uh, uh, Elon Musk with Twitter. Okay, uh, all of these things are ultimately uh, being used as points to take away free speech. But behind that, these are the agendas that are being set up. The Netherlands is trying to reduce its emission to comply with EU environmental regulations. All right. Now, once they establish that CB, central bank digital currency, and the Haragba in this system, all right, they will be able to, you know, track and trace all of these things. Okay. Again, we've been telling you, imagine, all right, going to buy something and, and they're telling you you've reached your carbon, uh, uh, your foot, your limit of CO2 and all of that emission for the month. All right. It says agriculture is responsible for almost half of the country's nitrogen emissions. So you see farming, humans, okay, and everything natural or nature is being attacked. It's being blamed, okay, for the condition of the earth. Okay? The, the Dutch government plans to purchase and then close up to 3,000 farms to meet a European Union environmental mandate to reduce emissions. So if they harp, if, they, if they're able to hoard all of this land into themselves and then shut down farming, okay, and they're doing this little by little by little, you're hearing about it, okay, and people don't think this is a big deal. Your boy Bill Gates buying up all of this land. Okay, again, what what did the book of Habakkuk say? Habakkuk chapter 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And the end is uh, synonymous with Esau. The man of sin being revealed and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold his soul, whose soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the ju just shall live by faith. So already we're seeing our forefathers warned us that this man would, 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 would start to get real weird. Okay, and his soul would be lifted up, op opposing himself above the most high. Okay, and doing all of this evil, shutting down free speech. Okay, and it's so it's so uh, manipulative and full of witchcraft how he's pretty much using the, the, the people to cry for a system where people won't be able to uh, have an opinion. Okay, now Elon Musk has control of Twitter. Now the, the now they're saying, well, we're only going to allow verified information to be posted on our platform. Oh, now people are crying. Well, all of this hate speech is, is, is being forwarded. We got to do something about this because they're getting ready to come with their plan and they don't want you to have nothing to say about it. And then they'll set up these players that you think are with you and against their agenda, but they're all set up, okay, to, as players in the game to bring forth their NWO. And some of them are speaking things that, are, uh, that, that make you feel like, you know, they're on your side. All right, this is why we got to stick to the Holy Scriptures, man. There's all manner of confusion out there. And this is why the just is going to have to live by faith. Okay? Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, his philosophy, his Malthusianism. <laughs> all right? 
He is a proud man. Neither keep it at home who enlarged his desire as hell and is as death. It cannot be satisfied, but gather it unto him all nations and heap it unto him all people under this new banner. This is the Nimrod of the day. This is the, the, the Tower of Babel of today. Okay, and how do you uh, uh, heap people unto yourselves? Well, you, you have all of the, uh, the, the land. You have all of the resources. <laughs> okay? You have all of the resources, man. And people have to come to you Okay, for energy, for food, for life. Okay. So these are the types of things that are coming down the pipe. Some farmers have opposed the new rules. Many believe their livelihoods are at stake and the agricultural industry is being unfairly targeted. Agricultural is over in their eyes. Okay. Let's look, up, let's look up agricultural. Okay. Farming. Pretty much that's it. Farming, man. <laughs> Which was the natural way of doing things. But they're telling you farming is now the problem of the earth. So we're going to need to uh, uh, produce foods. Okay. That, 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 that don't uh, uh, help to warm the earth. And that's all of those fake foods that they've been, uh, uh, you know, behind closed doors and openly telling you are coming. Lab-grown meat, worms, bugs. See this? War on global agriculture, the unsustainable, sustainable UN agenda. Okay. Let's just read a little bit of this. Over the past weeks, a coordinated all-out assault on our agriculture, the ability to produce food, okay? You're not going to be able to produce your own food. You're going to go to particular trusted sources to get food. The middleman is being cut out, and the middleman was the farmer, okay? The Elamite markets, the African markets, all of that stuff is getting ready to be cut out, okay? And the system... That they're set up is going to be centered around this is how you get food. This is how much food you can have. And this is scriptural. Okay? This is scriptural. Revelation, the sixth chapter. We'll get it. Lord willing. It says, The ability to produce food for human existence has begun. An assault on that. The recent G20 government meeting in Bali, the UN agenda, all right? meeting in, in Egypt, the Davos World Economic Forum and Bill Gates are all complicit. Typically, they are using dystopian linguistic farming to give the illusion that they are up to good when they are actually advancing an agenda that will lead to famine and death for hundreds of millions, not if not billions, if they are allowed to perceive. Okay, and let's get that in the book of Revelation 6 while we're there. Okay. Revelation, the sixth chapter. And the fifth verse. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, lo, a black horse. And he had on him a pair of balances in his hand. Okay, and we know blackness and darkness is hard times. This represents what? Captivity in this wicked, evil system that we're currently living in and the pair of balances let's look up this word balances zygos a yoke okay uh, 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 metaphorically of a burden or bondage of troublesome laws imposed on one of troublesome laws imposed on one okay and they're getting ready to bring these laws okay let's keep going <laughs> okay this is Esau's rulership and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny and see that thou hurt not the oil or the wine okay alright so you, you're going to get so much food alright for 
so much money. And you see this says penny is really denarii. Okay, when you look up that. Um, a penny is denarion, which was the ancient Roman monetary system. You can look that up. But um, containing 10. Okay. A day's wages, basically. Okay. In the ancient Roman Empire, containing 10. Okay, so a measure of wheat. Okay. It's uh, Coinix. It says, or as much as would support a man of moderate appetite for a day. So we're getting ready to see. All right. Uh, uh, rationing of food. All right. To prevent the the dearth and the you know the uh, you know for global warming purposes. All right, there's only so many so much food or certain kind of food you're gonna be able to have. Okay, and uh, the, the, you're gonna need this much money to get this much food. They're gonna set up those types of systems, and it, it, it's not gonna be a ch you're not gonna have a choice. All right, and that's when faith in Yahweh Bashem Shah is gonna really all right have to be applied. But that's why the scriptures say, see thou hurt not the oil and the wine, because the elect are going to be protected through all of this. As the scripture says, okay, at the time of famine, we shall be full. Okay, but this system is going to lead to famine, long lines at these particular food uh, banks. and uh, only uh, They're going to have particular stores open that you can only go to. And then they'll be able to regulate and set up these systems to where this particular uh, uh, type, of, this is the only payments we accept. This is how you pay. This is how you buy. This is how you sell. Okay? Which through that system, okay? Verse 8 says, And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed him, and power was given him over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beast of the earth, this is what's coming. Okay, this is what's being set up through the very system. All right, we're 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 uh, witnessing. Okay, <laughs> you can read these articles, look it up. Okay, we can only go so far. All right, but right here, let's read this. It says the UN and Davos teamed up in 2019 the joint to. To jointly advance the agenda, as you can see here. All right, it says on the website. This is they openly admitted to mean getting rid of meat protein sources, including promoting unproven fake meat, advocating alternative protein such as salted ants and ground crickets or worms to replace chicken. Or beef or lamb. Okay. <laughs> Y'all think that this is just a joke. But just keep living. Okay. And you Israelites who just. You know thought that this all was a game. And mocked. You're going to be looking for answers. And you know what your leaders are going to tell you. Do what you got to do. Okay. To get that food. Okay. And <laughs> it's going to lead you closer and closer to that. Haragma. All right, it's gonna be a little wiggle room. All right, but there's gonna come a point where there's no way out. Like you're gonna need the Lord. Okay, everything that they've been setting up—the cell phones, the smart TVs, Alex—everything is leading towards these these smart cities, this new world where everything is on a grid tracked. Okay. It says the discussion was about diets that can remain with within planetary boundaries, including lowering meat consumption, developing uh, alternatives, particular eating plants, wheat, uh, thus reducing the current reliance on wheat, All right, malice, rice, potatoes. Now, the scriptures says this. Let's get a. Uh, uh, 
let's get the uh, scripture in the Apocrypha. Boom. That's what I want right there. And then let's go back to that scripture we had there. This is the book of Sirach 39 and 26. It says, verse 25, for the good are good things created from the beginning and so evil things for sinners. The principal thing for the use of man's life are water, fire, iron, salt, flour, wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape and oil and clothing. And all of these things have been tainted and turned upside down. Okay, but th these are the principal things for a man's life. Okay, all these things are for good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. So he's using the need for these things to set up an evil system. All right, to where what you need for life, all right, is going to be limited, and a particular system is going to be set up. To where the only way you can buy or sell these things is through what? <laughs> Rebelling against the Heavenly Father eventually. Through that charagma. All right? Which is that chip. Sirach 27 and 2. As a nail sticketh fast between the joinings of stones, so the sin stick close between buying and selling. Okay? So the, 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 they know that they're able to tempt people, okay, through what? Uh, uh, hoarding the things that everybody need to live to themselves, hoarding the land to themselves, okay, and to heap everybody into themselves under this new WO, okay, you say this is the only way you can buy or sell. Now, um, you could check this article out, okay, we're going to move along. Um, as a matter of fact, check this out too. Okay, with the whole climate lockdowns that are coming. Thousands of warm banks opened in the UK with 16 million Brits unable to heat their homes. Public spaces have been open. OK, so you're not able to get heat in your own house because of the energy prices. OK, some people are having to choose between warming their houses and warming up food. You can't put your heat over 66 in certain parts. For the climate lockdown reasons and all of that. Pubs are closing early. Well now. They're opening up warm banks. This is how you're going to warm yourself. You can't warm yourself at home. But we have warm banks. You can just come and warm yourself here. Alright. And this is how you'll be able to warm yourself up. Okay. <laughs> oh man. It says, there is little doubt that we are heading towards a moment of crisis this winter in the face of energy and fuel inflation. All right. Christian activist Carl Beach stated on the campaign's website, a Christian. All right. People will be facing a stark choice between food and warmth. Creating warm and super welcoming spaces is going to be an absolute necessity. Okay, now if he was a true Christian, he he'd be going into the Bible saying, look, look, look this this agenda is wicked. Okay? <laughs> and it's all uh it all goes back to the Ukraine, America. Babylon is NATO is at the forefront of all of this, man. And at the end of the day, the elites are at the end of this. They're collapsing these economies, which is coming here for the purpose of setting up an order. Okay, this is complete BS. Okay, it's going to be cold as hell. All right. And you, if you can't warm yourself up at home, we got warm banks you can walk through and warm yourself. Well, people going to sleep there? <laughs> you can warm yourself up here or take your ass home and freeze. So it's going to be what people fighting, arguing, screaming, rebelling against the government. Okay, but I wanted to get into uh, a few of these videos. All right, check this out. Putin proposes a bank-free international digital payment system. He's a part of it, too. Okay. 
uh, the, the EU split, NATO split. All right. New York City will involuntarily hospitalize more mentally ill people under new plan. Okay, so with the rise in Kanye West, with the rise in all of these talking points, and pretty much they're going to eventually be able to label people like us mentally ill and be justified in throwing you in a psych ward and trying to inject you with all manner of medications and all of this. This is where we're going to need the Lord. The scripture says, fear not, the devil is going to throw some of you into prison. And it's going to be these types of events and legislations passed, all right, where they're going to uh, try to come after those with particular mindsets. Because a just man is an abomination to the unjust. All right, so what we're saying and what we're teaching, okay, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the system they're setting up will be able to label you mentally ill. Now, I didn't want to go there first. We'll get to that, but let's check out a few of these videos. Uh, this is off of Hugo Talks. UK government fast track CD, CBDC and the MOTB. Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks, the CBDC and the mark of the beast. So here we see the UK government talking about bringing forward talks about the CBDC. They are now speed tracking a central bank digital currency for the UK. This was in the House of Commons on Friday, December the 9th. And all the other countries are also following suit. The CBDC is what they want to bring in to replace cash. This isn't about making life easier for you. This is all about making their control over you far more easier for them. They already control the money system. Now they want to control how you spend the money. Mm -hmm. They want full control over the money going in and coming out of everyone's account and ultimately herd people into getting the mark. It's tremendous powers that the government has never had before. And they want it because they think it'll make them better at running the economy, but they also want it because then they will be able to track the transactions of all individuals. Jay, you helped me realize that very much in, uh, in the summer, you said uh, the following, that you do not want to wake up one day and realize that the dollar is no longer a world reserve, reserve currency because we just missed a technological a change. Central bank issued digital currencies. CBDC. With the CBDC. For a U.S. Cent uh, digital currency. CBDC. And CBDC. The central bank digital currency, or CBDC as it's known. In China has already introduced uh, a digital yuan. Uh, the ECB uh, is uh, pretty far along in its thinking. If a number of foreign, major foreign jurisdictions um, do in fact issue uh, digital currencies, um, it's important to think how that would look uh, for the dollar. Uh, the key difference in, with the CBDC is the central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that uh, expression of central bank liability. And also we will have the technology to enforce that. Here we see UK government accelerates CBDC exploration. The UK government will bring forward a CBDC consultation in the coming weeks. The revelation was made by the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt, in a written statement to Parliament on Friday. The revelation was made by Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt, in a written statement to Parliament on Friday. <laughs> yeah, the revelation was made. It's, it's in the Book of Revelation. That is what these people are working towards, it seems. The All right, and the scriptures tells you, okay... Well, let's get this real quick. This is speaking of Antiochus Epiphanes, all right, of the Greek Empire, all right. Um, he's one who, uh, he, he came through the Seleucid line, okay. And you can read First Maccabees, the first chapter, to kind of read about the mindset of Hellenization and how that's here today as well, okay. Daniel 8 and 25, and through his policy, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, all right, through the chaotic 
you know, uh, situations he's been able to uh, forward on the earth and set up on the earth. All right. He's um, also able to what? Write down legislation. OK, and change it. If he gets caught, he changes the name, changes the, you know, uh, uh, but he's able to pass particular legislation that he's already written down. But a particular chaotic situations on earth that he sets up, all right, enables him to then what? Prosper his craft in his hand. So through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his mind, and by peace shall destroy many. And the system that they're implementing is all predicated upon bringing peace and safety, okay, into the world, okay? He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, Yahweh Shai, but he shall be broken without hand. And we believe Antiochus is back in the earth today. Okay? And and, and he they're setting up a system. Okay? Because they're using artificial intelligence to fight the truth. This system that they're setting up. Alright? This technological beast. <laughs> this technological tower of Babel. Alright? Is in total opposition to the Most High and His only begotten Son. Okay? Consultation, it says here, will explore the case for a central bank digital currency, CBDC, a sovereign digital pound, and consult on a potential design, Jeremy Hunt said. He added that the Bank of England would also publish a working paper about technological considerations informing the potential build of a digital pound. This is the same Bank of England that have stated they want the CBDC to be programmable money. Programmable money is money with inbuilt rules and that comes with constraints for the user. With these rules, money can also be programmed to have an expire date or be restricted for certain goods. You notice that's not possible with cash. With cash, it, it doesn't run out of use in 30 days or is programmed to only work at certain stores or to buy certain things and that you can't be banned from buying certain goods. With cash, they don't have the ability to completely cut you off by the flick of a switch. You know, computer say no situation. This is why Revelation 13, okay, John the Revelator warned us of this. Okay, <laughs> as they're making a name for themselves, they've established the, the, the image of ancient Rome back into the earth. All right, which again, all of this agenda with the climate and all of that goes back to an agenda that's linked, all right, to the club of Rome. Let's look that up real quick. Okay. This all goes back to this organization. Okay? And when you look up pretty much what this, this, this thing is all about. Okay, what is it? Uh, UN administrators, high level politicians, diplomats, scientists, economic leaders from around the globe. And it's all dealing with climate control. Pollution, see? And researching for a common enemy against whom we can unite. The enemy is nature. The enemy is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and this, this gospel. We came up with the idea that pollution, the threat of global warming, water shortages, famine, and the like would fit the bill in their totality and in their interactions yada 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 but you know you can go into this but this is all linked to the club of rome why is it called the club of rome hmm <laughs> and there's more of these particular uh, uh organizations that are at the forefront of these agendas but it's linked to rome because that's what's ruling the earth okay these are the policies that are being forwarded. But anyway, eventually he's going to, what? 
verse 16, he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a charagma in their right hand or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Now, these people who are saying that this is just speaking of a philosophy, okay, or, or, or sin, how does that all tie into you buying and selling? Notice none of these leaders ever go into that aspect of it. Okay? That no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark, all right, which is what? Tied to the name or the number of this beast, all right? And ultimately, by you taking this, you are allowing him to put his name, all right, or his number on you to fully, what, accept him as your God, okay, and enter into a new covenant <laughs> with Satan, all right? Because when we enter into the covenant with Yahweh Bashim Shai, his name is going to be put on us. By you entering into this, you're putting his name on you and his number to where what you're going to be made in his image that's what they're trying to do what make man in their image that's what this is all centered around rewriting the story overcoming he is okay that doesn't happen with cash in your hand that's why they're doing away with cash. They want to know every transaction. They want to trace everything. But they're linking it to the climate, you know, global warming agenda. It continues. In general, wholesale CBDCs are generating more interest from central banks, while retail CBDCs are being explored cautiously, it says here. For example, the Bank de France, BDF, is currently experimenting with the technology and has stated that it could be ready to launch some form of wholesale CBDC as early as next year. So all of these countries doing this, and we shouldn't talk about it. We, we, we shouldn't warn the sheep about this. This is nothing we should be talking about. This can't be linked to anything biblical. Of course it can. Let's jump to this one. That's a good one. Let's listen to a little bit of this one. 63 central banks are members of the BIS from Basel, Switzerland. Now, let's get this too. Because what's happening is... This is the book, Psalms chapter 64 and 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the, insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Let's look up this word insurrection. I don't think I ever looked that up. But these are the workers of iniquity. This is the man of sin, ragash, uh, throng, scheming and company which is a conspiracy a conspiracy is what let's go to the uh etymology online and just type in conspiracy a plotting unlawful design a plotting of evil a combination of persons for an evil purpose. So if anybody's throwing this word out there, once you bring this type of stuff up, okay, then they're, they're telling you that the white man ain't doing no evil. These, these heathen ain't got nothing evil going on. Niggas conspire to do evil every damn day. You can have a theory about that, but you can't have a theory about all of these elite bankers who rule everything, pushing for this wicked agenda. Huh? And it's clear as day that the propaganda that's being pushed out there behind these small hats is going to be linked to the fact that you're not going to be able to say anything about them or link them to any of this. It will be outlawed for you to link them to all of this nastiness and wickedness that's going on. See that? It's the perfect plan. So by the time you look up, free speech will be outlawed. All right, the the the, the anti 
SEM agenda. That's all linked to the fact that they're doing all of this and they, and, and, and they want to outlaw you blaming them. Because they're the ones who are behind this 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 uh Jew, this new world order. It says So hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked and from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even bitter words. This philosophy and everything they're trying to establish are bitter words. Okay, and America means bitter, okay? It says that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. That's what they're doing. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Okay. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say who shall see them. And this is all a snare. Everything that they're doing is involved in a snare. Okay. To get you caught up. Okay. To, to be able to, to blame you. To be able to use their legislation to say. These type of people are, are, are eligible for execution. Okay, they're laying a snare for him that reproves in the gate right now. Okay, we can't be ignorant of Satan's devices. They say who shall see them. And, and see, we're living in a time where everything they do, they're getting caught. Because we're in the time of him being revealed. Okay, which that's how he operates on the left hand. Through deception, through evil, through trickery. And he's being found out. Okay. But the point I'm, I'm bringing this out. Okay. In verse 6 it says they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward part of them. And every one of them in the heart is deep. Their minds are deep off in evil. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. What's one of the ways that they're going to be wounded? So shall they make their own tongue to fall on themselves. All that see them shall flee away. People are going to be like, these people are crazy. And their own tongue is falling on themselves via these particular people who are a part of the system who are coming out. Okay? The rarest thing in the world is to see a central bank tell you the, a banker tell you the truth. Now you're going to get to see a central banker tell you the truth. A very rare moment. Part our analysis on CBDC in particular for the use of general to the general use, uh, we tend to establish the equivalence with cash. Uh, and there is a huge difference there. Uh, for example, in cash, uh, we don't know, for example, who's using a $100 bill today. We don't know who is using a 1,000 peso bill today. Uh, the, a key difference in, with the CBDC is that central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that uh, expression of central bank liability. And also we will have the technology to enforce that. Those, are, those two issues are extremely important and that makes a huge difference with respect to what, she, to what cash is. Uh, yeah. See, with dollar bills and money, we don't know, we can't track everything. See, with this new system that's going to dictate how you buy and sell, we will. And that's what's coming. Okay, hate to sound like a broken record. All right, but this is the job of a prophet. Can you hear me? What he just told you is if you're not allowed to buy chocolate, your money won't work to buy chocolate. If you're not allowed to go more than five kilometers from your home, your car or your money won't work more than five kilometers. Which is why they want those new smart cars. Okay, those, 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 uh, uh, like Tesla. <laughs> right? We can't forget this. <laughs> All right, whistleblower from Silicon Valley which is, you know, without silicon, all right, there's pretty much no, uh, this technology they have won't be able to be. So showing you that they're not God. But anyway, again, their own tongue falling on themselves. What do you say? Smart cities worldwide are being converted into open sea camps. You see this word? Okay. <laughs> all right.
Now, uh, Tazaria said we're already in a concentration camp. Well, this is a prison planet, okay? But prophecy lets you know that they would, the, these cities would be turned into actual camps and these buildings, all right? The, the, the sown places shall be unsown. Okay, what do you think they're going to do with these buildings? What do you think they have planned? Why do you think that they're trying to say China is the model for the, the, the how they want the world to be? Okay, technocracy is a is scientific dictatorship and it is rising all around us. America's need to take eyes off political dogfights and all of this propaganda they're throwing in your uh, face and see that the Biden administration is spending billions to embed smart city technology all across our nation. It is the infrastructure, all right, of a gulag without physical walls, okay? So this is what's happening, all right? This is what's being set up, all right? And uh, the number one uh, seller of this kind of technology is called Babel Street. Okay, how, how about that? Which Babel is confusion, all right? As a matter of fact, let's just look up Babel Street. Babel Street. Okay, that's where they get all of this spyware and this technology. This is one of the number one sellers of this. Okay. It's called Bab Babel Street. There you go. Babel Street gains AI machine learning capabilities. Okay, and the Tower of Babel goes back to the Bible. But here it is, Babel Street is the name of uh, uh, artificial intelligence, all right, uh, software agency to where all of this type of stuff is being perpetuated. So you don't think the Lord is working? Okay, but why you Americans are, are, are being duped, you know, by all of this, you know, uh, celebrity gossip, you know, political wars. Uh, again, draconian measures are coming down the pipe. Two horns like a lamb are leading to what? Him speaking as a dragon. You trusted in this democracy, this republic, these ideologies, which, you know, got everybody divided. But what's going to come from it? You, you're not going to have any rights. From your home. And that those rules can be dictated and controlled at a phenomenally central level. We're talking about the end of sovereignty. So this is taxation without representation. If I want to double taxes and just take it out of your account, no problem. The nominee for Office of Control of Currency in the United States last year, fortunately she wasn't voted into the position. She wrote an article for the um, Vanderbilt Law Review and published it and said, it's no problem dealing with inflation. You just freeze everybody's bank accounts because with CBDC, you can do that. Okay, this is Richard Werner, the top academic scholar in the world on central banking. He wrote the book and did the documentary, The Princes of the Yen, about the Japanese central bank. Here he is in Malmo, Sweden, in May. Also, they never talk about the nature of the CBDC, what, what is it actually going to look like? They never talk about that. Right. Um, but I heard one European central banker tell me what it's going to look like. He saw it. He was invited to one of the old central banks in Europe that are very much promoting this. And they showed him. And, you know, he's, he's a top, um, you know, executive director of another central bank in Europe. And there's no reason to believe that he was telling me a story. Um, and it was around this, this large and would be implanted under your skin. Mm. So that is the plan. Right. And of course, that has other implications on top of what we've mentioned, on top of the control aspects, because that actually enters your, your body 
in my view, violates, uh, violates human dignity and can be then used for, uh, even in terms of functionality, beyond the monetary and economic transaction purposes. So highly dangerous and definitely something we have to oppose. And so using cash is one of the things we can do to make sure um, that it will be, the hurdle will be higher for the central planners to introduce the CBDC. It's fair to say that everybody who's in MoMA listening to Richard started using cash with a vengeance. <laughs> okay, and finally, uh, I'm from America, and in America, many of us love Kanye West, who just had his bank accounts. He's a billionaire, very successful career in the entertainment industry. He's a billionaire, he just had his bank accounts frozen by J.P. Morgan Chase. All right, see? So they're letting you know that this can be tied to your your, your sp- speech what you say could be tied to shutting out your accounts and bringing in this system okay let's go to uh this one was good as well all right maybe you could just click look this up all right the final lockdown street lights that kill in smart cities cbdc digital id must share this is a very good video check this out um this is where we are <laughs> State of control, digital ID, CBDCs, the path to slavery. Okay? And this is what's uh, 2023 going forward. This is the type of world that they're going to implement, which means they're going to come with all manner of uh, (laughs) deception. That's why we can't be ignorant of Satan's devices. Okay? Because we know, all right, um, what 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 they're... Intending no death and enhanced life is the future of transhumanism. Okay, linking man with machine. All right, but presenting it as peace and safety. All right, let's look at a little bit of this one. Government lost control of the technology. We had the most powerful, secretive black technology in the world, including some that we brought over from the Nazis. And and a lot of what we're dealing with goes back to the fact that we've had since then 50 to 60 years of incredible non-transparent governmental flows going into basically corporate controlled technology that many of us don't understand. Apple, Microsoft, and Tesla. All three have been on a roll since mid-June. New concerns tonight about the social media giant's role in fake news and elections. These firms have too much power, our economy, and democracy. Everything they're doing online is being watched, is being tracked. Every single action you take is carefully monitored and recorded. Their personal data, which is like gold. We have this trusted digital identity built. Yeah, and the question there are a lot of questions. What is a digital portemonnaie? Ten of the 17 sustainable development goals cannot be met without first closing the identity gap. Digital identity is an absolute horror. Das kommende Jahrzehnt muss Europa the coming decade must become Europe's digital decade that you know you're going to be identified in this new world okay digitally by something all right and we can't play too much of this but watch that um if I don't remember to put them in the description all you have to do is just type you know, go to bit shoot dot com and type in these titles or just google these titles and it may come up as a matter of fact let me do it for you to see how that what happens when you let's just do a search i'm on duck duck go but you do a search and it'll take you to these particular m- movies these sites where you can watch this okay odyssey is one so it's 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 out there okay I'm not, I'm not, can't, I can't play the whole videos. <laughs> um, we've been, you know, sh- taking a risk even playing this, but this is, you know, our job. But um, I'm going to leave it there. Um, go to Blacklisted News and look at some of these titles. Who is purposely sabotaging power plants all over America? I wonder what's going on there. Someone has been attacking power plants all over the country. 
and federal authorities are trying to determine who it is. They can't find out who it is, right? <laughs> Pretty soon there will be a uh, energy crisis presented here in America. All right, and the, the system that we we're watching and seeing being implemented, China and these different, uh, uh, you know, the, the everywhere, all right, you'll see it here in America. Okay. Ghana to buy oil with gold instead of U.S. dollars. Okay. Next for U.S. led coup. Okay. Black market in broad daylight. U.S. school kids, hospital patients, and prison inmates shared food poisoning while food liquidators boast they turn trash into treasure. And I believe this is that a brother sent this. Yeah, they basically got this system to where they're taking spoiled foods and making, you know, using it to make new foods. And they're serving it at foods, prisons, <laughs> all right, and uh, hospitals. Goodness gracious, man. Gun shops and customers claim credit card firms restrict firearm purchases. They don't want you to have anything when they come with this. All right. Twitter files part two. Twitter secret blacklist visibility filtering used at highest levels to suppress what people see. It's an information war. They're at war. And again, artificial intelligence is going to be used to fight against the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai. They're even going to fight when he literally comes, but they're fighting him now, all right, through trying to uh, get us out of the way. Okay? TSA plans nationwide rollout of biometric machines for airport travelers to <laughs> the system to where you'll be linked to that grid and you'll be identified digitally. Okay? Physical identification like IDs, all of that stuff is going to be, what, for the purpose of peace and safety, they're going to bring in this new system, okay? And you're going to see more of that. As Griner's homecoming celebrated, ex-Marine Paul William lashes out, was led to believe he'd be freed, which this was all propaganda and BS. Just you best believe some sort of witchcraft or left-hand agenda was tied to that all. The Constitution has already been terminated, all right? You won't have rights. Uh, they're going to come with a new digital Constitution, Okay? Major economic contraction coming in 2023, followed by even more inflation. <clears throat> okay, you can read that. Third Russian air base set ablaze by drone strike as Ukraine extends war across border. But I thought it was Russia's fault. How mainstream media is destroying the United States. Man. It might be a good read. Hmm. Lobbyists want media, big tech cartel, tech bill attached to defense spending. Mask never worked. <laughs> oh, man. FBI held weekly meetings with Big Tech ahead of 2020 elect, sent list of URLs and accounts to be censored because they're watching and they're coming after who's, you know. Pentagon fails to track $2.1 trillion in assets, 61% of all military assets. War on global agriculture, right? War on nature. Wow. So, yeah, you won't have any constitutional rights, okay? That's already done away with, okay? Your everyday rights will be dictated to you by your military very soon, by troops and, and, and you know, people coming with force. We have no real freedom of speech. We are moving fast down a slippery slope to an authoritarian society in which only opinions, which the only opinions, ideas, and speech expressed are the ones permitted by the government and its corporate cohorts. 
In more and more cases, the government is declaring war on what should be protected political speech whenever it challenges the government's power and the, the, how they're taking away freedom of speech is through witchcraft, through these particular isolated situations, you know, through Kanye West, Kyrie, all right, Jake, all right, because really what they want to do is shut off this word, okay? But outside of even that, their own people, it's too much coming out about what they're doing, okay? You're being, uh, uh, there's no privacy, all right? It says, uh, if you reveal the government's corruption, expose the lies, all right, and encourage the citizenry to push back against their injustices, the ramifications are so far reaching as to render almost American who criticizes the government extremists in this world. All right, D or thought by association. So, yeah, they're coming with all manner. But this may be a good article to go into. Um, I'm probably going to go into this one. Yeah, you ain't going to have no rights. So, yeah, Lord willing, be looking out for I'm just going to go into this article because I can see it's good. But uh, overall, um, that's pretty much it. Lord willing, uh, we'll, we'll be back with more. Information giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim Rahakwadash and double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect. And the beauty of this all, as we, we always bring out, is that victory over this is already written. Okay, Revelation 15 and 2. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten victory over the beast. And over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of god and they sung the song of moses the servant of god and the song of the lamb saying great and marvelous are thy works lord god almighty and just and true are thy ways thou king of the saints <laughs> all right so again there's already victory written over all of this garbage all right but we have our our walk and our trial all right, to get there. Shalom.